If your website needs the ability for users to be able to register for an account and activate that account from an email, look no further than Gravity Forms Better User Activation. Better User Activation is a Gravity perk that allows you to take full control over your user registration and activation process. In this video series, we're gonna go step by step showing you how to create your registration form and your notification feed, create, customize, and send your activation email, and customize the page they land on once they've activated their account. So in this video, we're just gonna go over how to set up your registration form and your notification feed so that you're ready to send that activation email, which we'll go over in the next video. Let's get started. First things first, it's important to note that better user activation is actually built on top of the Gravity Forms user registration add-on. So we wanna make sure we have that downloaded and installed first. Next, make sure you have the Gravity Perk better user activation downloaded and installed as well. Well. Next, we can head over to our Gravity Forms and create a new blank form and feel free to call it whatever you want. I'm gonna go with user registration. Feel free to include whatever fields you want in this registration form. The most important one to have is obviously an email because we'll need an email address to send them their confirmation email when they're trying to register for an account. Note that you can have a username field in this form if you want to, but it's not required because in the feed we're gonna set up next, you can actually assign the email to be the user's username for simplicity's sake. So let's go ahead and delete that username. Once we have everything we need on our form and we've saved it at the top right, we can head up and hover over the settings button and click user registration. If you don't see the user registration option here in the dropdown, remember that that's part of the Gravity Forms user registration add-on, so just make sure you have that installed. So to create our feed, we're gonna go over to the right and click add new. Feel free to call your feed whatever you like, but for action, we're gonna make sure to hit create user. Now we're gonna see a bunch of settings here, and what this allows us to do is map attributes such as username, first name, last name, to the different fields that we added to our form. So remember earlier when we deleted that username field from our form? That's because we can go in right now to this setting, click the drop down, and we can assign our email field to be our username so there's not two pieces of information that our user has to remember. You can see that a lot of these settings are automatically filled out for you, like first and last name, and the email and password. One note to make about this final setting at the bottom here titled role is to be careful when selecting administrator. Selecting administrator here will give the user who fills out this form complete access to your WordPress website and its settings. So just use that with caution. For us, we're just gonna go with subscriber. Next, we have this user meta section, which is a really cool feature where we can assign key value pairs to send additional information about the user when they register. So for example, in this website I created for this car club, a fantastic use of the user meta would be people putting their make and model of their car in when they register. At the very bottom, we have additional options where we can choose to send the new user an email about their account, we can have registration conditions, but the one we really wanna focus on for this video is user activation. We wanna make sure to have this checkbox enabled, but we wanna select from the dropdown manually or by form notification. The reason we do this is that we're using better user activation, and we're gonna send an email out manually to the user that's gonna contain an activation link that once they click it, their account will be activated. All right, so here's our car club website. We'll go ahead and click register at the top right. And here's the form that we just got done creating. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out with just some placeholder information. And there we go. I just filled it out with Marty McFly's information. It's gonna be sweet to see his time traveling DeLorean at the meetup. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit submit. Now when we hover over our form and click entries, we see the entry for the user that we just registered using our form. It's important to know that right now this user's account is not activated. But in the next video, we're gonna go over sending that activation email and activating the account. And just like that, we created a user registration form and a notification feed for our website. In the next video, we'll go over creating, customizing, and sending out that activation email. And eventually we'll go over the page that they land on after activating their account. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.